Hi friends, today I'll be talking about cryotherapy in detail but very quickly. So this video includes physiological and therapeutic effects of cryotherapy, contraindications and precautions of cryotherapy and also method of application of cryotherapy. You might have seen that when a person falls and gets injured, ice is applied immediately to the injured area. This is cryotherapy. So cryotherapy is application of cold to tissues after injury for therapeutic uses. Local temperature of the skin is reduced by application of various forms of ice. Often the skin temperature is reduced to 10 degrees Celsius. You might have observed that when a person holds ice in his hands, it melts. This is because of latent heat of fusion. Latent heat of fusion is the energy required to change the state of the ice from solid to liquid. There are three physiological effects of cryotherapy, hemodynamic effects, neuromuscular effects and metabolic effects. Neuromuscular effects further includes decreased nerve conduction velocity, increase in pain threshold, alteration of muscle strength, facilitation of muscle contraction, decrease of spasticity. If you understand the physiological effects clearly, then it is easy for you to understand the uses of cryotherapy. Hemodynamic effects means the effect of cold on blood vessels. Let us know what is Lewis Hunt response. When the ice is applied to the skin, there is initial vasoconstriction of the blood vessel up to 15 minutes of application of cryotherapy. When the cold is applied for more than 15 minutes, vasodilation of the blood vessels occur. Vasodilation is followed by alternate periods of vasoconstriction and vasodilation. This whole three-step process is called as Lewis Hunt reaction. I would like to explain importance of each step here. During initial vasoconstriction limits the control of bleeding by limiting the extravasation of the blood tissues. Vasodilation improves local blood flow and improves tissue healing. Alternate periods of vasoconstriction and vasodilation reduces swelling and also promotes tissue healing. This picture depicts Lewis Hunt reaction clearly. Initially when the cold is applied, there is vasoconstriction of the blood vessels followed by vasodilation followed by alternative periods of vasoconstriction and vasodilation. When the cold is applied to the skin, the nerve conduction velocities of both sensory and motor fibers reduces. A delta fibers carry pain sensation to the brain and the spinal cord. When there is decrease in nerve conduction velocity in A delta fibers, obviously the pain sensations do not reach the brain and spinal cord and hence pain is not perceived in brain. I will tell later what happens when the NCV decreases in motor fibers. Increase in pain threshold can occur due to two reasons. One is decrease in nerve conduction velocity in sensory fibers which I have already explained and the second is reduced muscle spasm. This could be due to decreased inflammation caused by cold application. When cold is applied on spastic muscle for 30 minutes or more, the motor nerve conduction velocity of the nerve supplying the spastic muscle reduces. This further inhibits the contraction of spastic muscle. Facilitation of muscle contraction. Quick icing is used to facilitate the contraction of muscles. This is a sensory stimulation technique well explained by Margaret Rood. Alteration in muscle strength. When the cold is applied for 5 minutes or less, there is increase in muscle strength. But when the cold is applied for 30 minutes or longer, there is decrease in muscle strength followed by initial increase in muscle strength. Metabolic effects. Cold reduces metabolic rate and is therefore used during acute inflammation where there is abnormal increase in metabolic rate. Cold also inhibits the activity of cartilage destroying enzymes and is therefore used during acute conditions of osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Therapeutic effects of cryotherapy Acute inflammation, 
control of edema, pain control, spasticity reduction, facilitation of muscle contraction and as an adjunctive measure for exercise and stretching. Cryotherapy is widely used to control acute inflammation. Cold reduces the signs of inflammation like redness, rise in temperature, swelling and pain. Control of edema as I have explained before about Lewis Hunt mechanism that is alternate vasoconstriction and vasodilation reduces edema. The excess tissue fluid is removed from the area and returned to the systemic circulation. Pain control Cryotherapy reduces pain by two effects. Direct effect is by modification of sensation of pain which I have already discussed and indirect effects include reducing inflammation, spasm and spasticity. Spasticity reduction Cryotherapy reduces the spasticity of the muscle. Cold reduces the nerve conduction velocity of the motor fibers thereby inhibiting the contraction of the spastic muscle. Facilitation of muscle contraction Quick icing facilitates the contraction of the muscle. Cryotherapy as an adjunctive for exercise and stretching. Cryokinetic is a technique that combines the use of cold and exercise in the treatment of disease. The procedure involves application of cooling agent to the point of numbness and at the same time instructing the subject to try moving the part. In cryo stretch, the cooling agent is applied before stretching to reduce spasm and pain, thereby facilitating better stretching of tight structures. Techniques or methods of application of cryotherapy Cold or ice pack, ice massage, cold compression unit, ice towel, immersion, vapocoolant spray. This is ice pack. Ice pack consists of gel made from silica or a mixture of saline and gelatin which is covered by vinyl covering. Ice pack is cooled for 30 minutes between the uses and for 2 hours initially. Ice pack is wrapped in the towel and placed on the area to be treated. Ice pack is placed for 10 to 15 minutes for control of pain, edema and inflammation. To control spasticity, ice pack must be kept for 30 minutes and must be checked after 10 to 15 minutes interval. This method is ice massage where ice cups or ice blocks are used. It is the most commonly used mode of application of cryotherapy. It is applied for 10 minutes or until the analgesia occurs. The ice massage is applied in the form of small overlapping circles. The extra water is wiped out as it melts. This method is used for facilitation of muscle contraction by quick icing of the skin dermatomes. This technique is also very useful for the treatment of pressure sores. The ice is massaged gently on the skin surrounding the pressure sore for about 2 minutes. This is cold compression unit. These are the devices that alternatively pump cold water at a temperature of 10 to 25 degrees and air into the sleeve that is wrapped around the patient's limb. These devices are most commonly used directly after the surgery for the control of post-operative inflammation and edema but can also be used in other circumstances. This is vapor coolant spray. In this technique, volatile substances such as ethyl chloride or fluoromethane are sprayed directly onto the area to be treated. It is very effective but short-lived. It is applied to the area in the number of short bursts for 3 to 5 times. This technique is frequently used in sports injuries. While the spray is applied, the bottle is placed at a distance of about 45 cm from the skin and the angle is so that the spray hits the skin at an angle of about 30 degrees. This is a motion technique of cryotherapy. In this technique, the part to be treated is immersed in an ice solution. This technique is only suitable for distal parts such as hand and feet. For immersion, a solution of 50% ice and 50% water is prepared and placed in a container. 
आई स्टवल मैथड दिस मैथड अलाउज ओनली वेरी सुपरफिशियल इफेक्ट एंड इज सूटेबल फॉर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेरी लार्ज एरियाज आई स्टवल इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय पुटिंग अ टवल इन अ बकेट कंटेनिंग टू पार्ट्स ऑफ क्रश्ड आइस टू वन पार्ट वाटर एंड देन ब्रिंगिंग इट टू रिमूव एक्सेस वाटर द टवल इज प्लेसड ओवर द अफेक्टेड पार्ट एंड द सेम इज फ्रीक्वेंटली रिप्लेस टू मेंटेन द कूलिंग एज इट गेट्स ड्राई वेरी फास्ट लेट इस नो द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन ऑफ क्रायोथेरेपी पेरीफेरल वास्कुलर डिसीज इन पेरीफेरल वास्कुलर डिसीज लाइक अथेरोस्लेरोसिस देर इज इम्पेयरमेंट ऑफ सर्कुलेशन ओवर अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया वैन कोल्ड इज अप्लाइड टू द एरिया इट कॉजेज वैसो कंस्ट्रिक्शन एंड फर्दर डिक्रीज द सर्कुलेशन वैसो स्पैस्टिक डिजॉर्डर्स क्रायोथेरेपी शुड नॉट बी यूज इन वैसो स्पैस्टिक कंडीशन लाइक रेनॉर्ड्स डिसीज when cryotherapy is applied it induces vasoconstriction thereby impairing circulation cold uteric area in patients with cold uteric area the condition may get aggravated due to release of histamine from the mast cell and therefore is contraindicated cryoglobulinemia the application of cold may lead to precipitation of abnormal blood proteins which may block blood vessels causing complications therefore cryotherapy is contraindicated cryotherapy should not be directly applied over the regenerating peripheral nerve as local vasoconstriction can negatively affect the nerve regeneration now let us know the precautions to be followed while applying cryotherapy cryotherapy should not be applied directly over the deep open wound as it may delay healing by impaired circulation and decreased metabolic rate cold can cause a transient increase in systolic or diastolic blood pressure patient with hypertension should be carefully monitored during the application of cryotherapy treatment should be discontinued if the blood pressure increases beyond the safety levels cryotherapy should not be applied over the left shoulder as it may inhibit cardiac function in cardiac patients cryotherapy should not be done on patients with defective skin sensation as it can cause skin burns cryotherapy should not be used on patients with cold intolerance cryotherapy should not be used on adverse psychological patients